Yes, yes. Take your time. So we will chant Hare Krishna mantra now. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Vishnu Padaya Can you put the Hare Krishna Mantra? Now it's over. Can you put the Hare Krishna Mantra? Hare Krishna Mantra on the projector. Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesa Sunyavadi Pashatya Desatharine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesan Sunyavadi Asyatya Desatharine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Srivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Srivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Radha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama. 
हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे हरे हे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय लक्ष्मी नरसिंह जय लक्ष्मी नरसिंह जय लक्ष्मी नरसिंह जय लक्ष्मी नरसिंह जय प्रहलाद महाराज जय प्रहलाद महाराज जय प्रहलाद महाराज जय प्रहलाद महाराज
जय जय प्रभु फाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु फाद जय जय प्रभु फाद जय जय गुरुदेव 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 जय जय गुरुदेव जय गुरु हे गोठ आनंद सो वी हैव सुनंद प्रभु वुड कम समटाइम्स बाय मे बी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स थर्टी सो आई वुड कीप अप बाइंग टिल द टाइम so i would just share few realization of uh, narsingha dev five and then we'll again begin the kirtan is it okay hari bol hari hari bol so first realization which i would give one from ayapur one from jagannath puri and one from the shastra and one from our acharyas and one from general person realization with narsingha dev what is that okay okay by the time it will be done so come back for kirtan no problem so what time we start mata ji abhishek 15 minutes 10 minutes okay 6:30 okay that's fine by the time we'll be done so first one is starting with mayapur lord chaitanya mahaprabhu who is standing next to lord krishna he appeared in mayapur and after that somewhere around 1800 70s or that period bhakti vinod thakur was there he was trying to find out the place of original birth place of lord goranga mahaprabhu in entire navadeep mandal so he was going places to places to find out what is the exact some vaishnavas or some people in mayapur they make one place as a birth place of goranga mahaprabhu and they started that business because when they say the original birth place then people come over rushing without arguing further or without finding out the evidence so they are going on like crazy some will say who is powerful no no that is not the one this is our place is the real original birth place of goranga mahaprabhu so this is going on back and forth so one day when bhakti vinod thakur maharaj was in his jalangi river and ganga river it is there in the navadeep which mixes and the cottage he was chanting his rounds is just in the evening time like dusk which is not day not night not too much dark not too much of light you can see someone little bit you know 10 meter distance but not not too far we can visibly see a car is a vehicle is coming whether you cannot say it's a car or a truck or a something a jeep something but you can see so at that time when bhakti vinod thakur was there he saw a big smoke is coming from over the head of the river jalangi and going to some directions to over the ganges and then he tried to trace it out and find it out then he realized after that long story short i don't want to go deep on the whole uh, finding with uh, gorkh uh, his spiritual master jagannath das bhaji maharaj how he took him to find out but that is the place goranga mahaprabhu was there lord narsingha dev comes for gor aarti in the evening की वो जयो जयो गोरा चांदे आरती को शोभा जानवी तट बने जगमन लोभा सो दैट मीन्स दैट इन द बैंक ऑफ द गैंज जानवी इज गंगा द गोरांग महाप्रभु ऑपलेंस इज रियली मैनिफेस्ट when you see opulence is manifest and full potency is there we are you know not really imagining what that mean even the great great personalities brahma shiva shuka narada all the great personality they chant in front of lord goranga and dance so narsingha dev even though he is an incarnation of god but still he is desiring to perform the aarti that's why in iskon all the temples all over the world we perform in the evening gor aarti because it was not only madhur sweet it is also full of opulence full of mercy we get from goranga mahaprabhu by performing and by performing we invite all the incarnations of god also reappear in the same assembly and they perform with us including shiva shuka at last what is the at the same time you can see 
last stanza in that gorarti shiva suka narada preme gada gada so this is anyway how lord narsingha dev has performed this is the first one and the second past times which i will be talking in jagannath puri in jagannath puri we have in all the vedic scriptures it tells about how lord narsingha dev has to be situated in the temple each temple must have a narsingha dev lord jagannath facing towards east and behind lord jagannath narsingha dev deity is installed and both the side east and uh, west north and south is baraha and baman dev the three deity must be there in the temple in a vedic temple where lord narsingha dev's position is on the behind to protect the temple of lord jagannath or vishnu temple any vishnu temple so narsingha dev had been very much situated on the back of the have you been to jagannath puri right who have been to jagannath puri temple have you seen the behind the jagannath puri when you circumambulate it's a big narsingha dev it is inside the temple you have to pay attention to know so that that the one lord narsingha dev is protecting because before the install lord narsingha dev was installed and that gives so we are very fortunate in isb that we have lord narsingha dev dd with us to serve him so that we are getting full fleshed protection by narsingha dev so this is the second past times which i mention about third one is we know a great personality called jaydev goswami so jaydev goswami when he chants the dasavatar sutra if anybody has problem stability problem anxiety problem many different call mental settlement problem then you chant dasavatar sutra because dasavatar sutra is like full protection protection in the sense kurma which is in the very doubtful in your heart which clarifies then mashya avatar narsingha avatar each has a different functions to protect your the limbs of your devotions in a nice way just like a lotus have you seen if two petals are down and eight petals are rightly situated does it look good even the lotus no it has to be in a right angle it has to be in a right proportion so that you see better similarly A devotee in Jagannath Puri, he was a praying to the Lord. He doesn't go to the temple. He saw the Nila Chakra, which is the on the top, called that is the the disc or the flag where there is called Nila Chakra, which is there. So he saw there and meditates, Lord, the ten avatar. The ten avatar manifests from whom Matsya, Kurma, Baraha, Nushinga, Bhamana. parshuram ram balaram buddha and kalki all ten avatar they do dance the tip of the temple of jagannath puri it's not a joke it's true they perform including narsingha dev they appeared in the divine heart of that particular devotee because he is meditating in that way because whatever he desire in jagannath puri in full attention in purity is going to manifest immediately not in next life or further life in the same life you want to see face to face god you can see it so that is the potency of jagannath puri so he saw the ten incarnations there including narsingha dev visible manifest in his heart nobody can see it that's also one of the great past times of lord narsingha dev then coming back to one of the one which is um, uh, one of the devotee in mayapur we know mayapur temple i think our kids Sunday school kids perform a drama about the Narsingha Dev, and how the devotee or the pujari was very much afraid towards Narsingha Dev. But Narsingha Dev called him, "Come in front of me. I'm not going to do anything. I'm a lion. I'm a, I'm a god. How can you be afraid of me?" So he is very close towards Narsingha Dev, and that the day which recently passed, which is called Akshay Tritya. Akshay Tritya is the date where Lord Narsingha Dev in Simanchalam, where. in simanchalam who in south india near vishakha uh, vaijak vishakha patnam or walter three names so in that pool in that place it is a combination of narsingha and braha both this incarnation together in akshay tritya that is the day they open it so that you can see the lord fully otherwise it is covered with chandan so right now it is going on chandan jatra so we put chandan paste to lord narsingha dev if you have we can paste chandan completely because it's in india it's hot days equinox comes until may 22nd 
so it goes on so until that time because lord is hot so he cannot tolerate the heat because he himself is so hot always in angry mood transcendental angry so in order to soothe his mind in order to soothe his body chandan is the best medicines to cool your body it releases the heat within and it gives coolness both internally externally so that's why they on the date of akshay tritya which happened few weeks ago lord narsingh they we can see him without the paste on the day and with the whole body we can be visible to see so there are innumerable past times of lord narsingh dev who sunanda prabhu is going to describe in few minutes is sunanda prabhu is around mata ji okay maybe so now then we will do the abhishek in few minutes so during abhishek we will have uh, kirtan which will go on hari krishna mantra and then after that uh, prabhu ji would read about uh, narsingh dev so there are beautiful prayers to lord narsingh dev in shrimad bhagavatam which can to srivatsa narsingh dev's past times is described which can to seventh can to from which text chapter to which chapter almost yeah so it has been very elaborately described of lord narsingh dev because how lord narsingh dev it started with even fall down of jay and vijaya and then how hiranyakashipu was doing prayer in himalayas for how many years 100000 years 100000 years he did his prayers and then after he is doing prayers he got the boon from lord brahma all the conditions we know all the conditions and then in the meantime when he came back he saw the prahlad was born and then he was ruling the whole planet and because prahlad was devoted to god both father and parents a dispute came and then lord narsingh they appeared where he appeared in the sky from the water where he appeared within the pillar oh, okay okay sorry no problem so where did he appear within the pillar he is there in the pillar prabhu ji is it there yeah. yes you are prahlad he is there in the inside the pillar yeah. get my gada let me fire it out let's see whether he is there or not <laughs> we all been trouble right oh god is not there when you but he is actually it is a tremendous amount of when prahlad maharaj is seeing that where he is where is your god can you tell me where is your god he said he is everywhere then he asked where is in pillar it is not that we are nobody can see god inside maybe some of you who is pure transcendental mood but prahlad mara saw narsingh dev inside it's transparent he saw in that form that i am inside just face to face because of his there are certain time when god appears and why doesn't appear it has given in shrimad bhagavatam beautiful chapter with narad muni when narad muni before he became the real great muni he was a boy and his mother was serving to the paramhansas and after that a snake bite she died and narad muni was very much anxious and he was into the forest and finding out how to get peace at the time lord vishnu he saw govinda and he gave him darshan and he said that you will attain me <clears throat> after many millenniums in the form in life here is narad muni and you will see me face to face then he left after the narad muni was completely disturbed because he could not find him further so why not he found him further because he said that he was still not qualified you need to how to be how to get qualification by purification and similarly even though the the whole the incidents and everything is truth but lord may appear to us based on our surrender based on our purity so we should not challenge on the other hand neither we should also comparisons with prahlad maharaj that he appeared but lord narsingh dev is very very uh, compassionate to his pure to his devotees not only pure any devotees who offers him prayers he gives his benediction as long as we offer prayers along with prahlad maharaj he give double benedictions because he is his pure devotees names you are chanting because on this date when narsingh dev appeared one event doesn't care to chant lord lakshmi's name one can simply chant prahlad narsingh by that also lord narsingh dev is not offended because he is always combined radha krishna 
लक्ष्मी नारायण सीताराम एंड रुक्मिणी द्वारकाधीश मेनी नेम्स विच इज हिज पर्सनल कंसोर्ट बट इन सर्टन पास टाइम्स लाइक दिस नरसिंह देव इज वेरी हैप्पी वेन ई चैंड प्रहलाद नरसिंह बिकॉज प्रहलाद महाराज इज कॉन्फिडेंस एंड डिबोटीज बट वी चैंड लक्ष्मी नरसिंह एंड प्रहलाद नरसिंह ऑल्सो बहुत बिकॉज वी इन आवर डीड इज विच नरसिंह इज देर लक्ष्मी नरसिंह इज देर सो दैट्स द ए ग्लिम्स ऑफ द पास टाइम ऑफ नरसिंह देव यू लाइक इट हरि हरि जय नरसिंह देव भगवान की जय श्री प्रभुपाद की सो विल डू कीर्तन नाउ जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाध श्रीवासि गौर्भक्तवृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाध श्रीवासि गौर्भक्तवृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाध श्रीवासि गौर्भक्तवृंद जय श्री एवरीबडी चैंड चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाद श्री वासि गो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे एवरीबडी चैंट लाउडली हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 
कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जाया नरसिंह देव जाया नरसिंह देव जाया नरसिंह देव जाया नरसिंह देव जाया जाया नरसिंह देव जाया नरसिंह देव जाया नरसिंह देव जाया नरसिंह देव जाया प्रहलाद महाराज जाया प्रहलाद महाराज जाया प्रहलाद महाराज जाया प्रहलाद महाराज जाया लक्ष्मी नरसिंह जाया लक्ष्मी नरसिंह जाया लक्ष्मी नरसिंह जाया लक्ष्मी नरसिंह अनिथाय गौरा हरि बो लारि बो लारि बोल निताय गौरा हरि बोल जय जय प्रभु फाद प्रभु फाद प्रभु फाद जय जय प्रभु फाद जय जय श्री लक्ष्मी नरसिंह देव भगवान की प्रहलाद महाराज की श्री प्रभुपाद की सो नाउ वी वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट हिज ग्रेस सुनंद प्रभु so he will give the talk on uh, narsingha chaturdashi please give a big hearty welcome kartal aur mridang oh mridanga okay you want to sit down can you get some That's good. Some water. Hare Krishna. Shri Shri Lakshmi Narsingha Bhagavan Ki Jai. 
Shri Prahlad Maharaj Ki Jai. Today is a great day in the history of the universe. The appearance day of Lord Nirsingha Dev, the avatar of the Lord who appears as a half lion and a half man. And of course our modern civilization will never accept such a being as true, but Vaishnavas accept that God is inconceivable and full of all potencies and can appear in any form that he likes. As a matter of fact, according to Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, he appears in many, many other animal forms. You know, Varaha, boar, horse, Hayagriva. So this is Nishinga Dev's appearance. <clears throat> and I'll sing, we'll sing the Nishinga prayers first. <clears throat> Basically, I'm just going to read like I did for Nityananda's appearance day. <clears throat> uh, but anyway. Namaste Nara Singhaya. <clears throat> Pralada Lada Dhaine Iranya Kashi Pura Bhakshaha Shilatanka Nakalaye Ton singha para ton singho Yato yato yaminta ton singha Bahi singho hridai singho Bahir na singo ho, hridai na singo ho Narasing hamadin sharanam prapaje Narasing hamadin sharanam prapaje Tavakada Kamala Vade Nakamadhuta Singham Dalita Hidanya Kashi Puta Nubringham Keshavadrita Nadahadi Rupa Jaya Jagadi Shahade Jaya Jagadi Shahade Jaya Jagadi Shahade Tavakada Kamala Vare Nakam Nadhuta Singham Dalita Hiranya Kashi Puta Nubringham Keshavadrita Nada Hadi Rupa Jaya Jagadi Shahade Jaya Jagadi Shahade Jaya Jagadi Shahade Keshavadrita Nada Hadi Rupa Jaya Jagadi Shahade Jaya Jagadi Shahade Jaya Jagadi Shahane Keisha Bhadrita Nada Hari Rupa Jaya Jagadi Shahade 
जय जगदीश हरे जयन सिंह हरे हिवन सिंह हरे नरसिंह हरे जयन सिंह हरे जय लक्ष्मी नरसिंह जय लक्ष्मी नरसिंह लक्ष्मी नरसिंह जय लक्ष्मी नरसिंह जय भक्त प्रहलाद जय भक्त प्रहलाद भक्त प्रहलाद जय भक्त प्रहलाद गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल निथाई गौर हरि भोल सिंह भगवान की जाए भक्त प्रहलाद महाराज की जाए जिन्हें सिंह चतुर्दास की जाए और प्रेम नंदी सो द सेवेंथ कैंटो ऑफ श्रीमद् भागवतम इज specifically about the appearance of Lord Nishinga Dev. If uh, one were to go back to the third canto, he would find the story of Jai and Vijay. Actually, it was a very long, detailed history, one of the longest descriptions of uh, an avatar and the history of the avatar uh, uh, in the Srimad Bhagavatam. This whole seventh canto is just about Nrsingadev, Prahlad Maharaj, such important uh, appearance. Uh, and devotees love Nrsingadev, don't we? We love, we keep, we have Haribo, uh, Nrsingadev, everyone loves Nrsingadev. What a wonderful form of the Lord. So it's a very special form. Uh, and so today is a is a day for remembering this pastime and for asking the Lord to protect us, his devotees, not just externally, because he protects the devotees from the demons externally, but we also have to fight the demons within. Lust, greed, anger, calm, crow, lobe. All the demons within, material desires, pratishta, yes, profit, distinction, adoration, so many unnecessary anarthas in the heart. So Nishingadev will help to destroy these. And uh, today we pray for that. Uh, somehow I experienced a little bit of that today myself this morning. But uh, So let me begin first by... Uh, Chanting Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Narayanam Namaskritya. Narangchaiva Narotamam. Devim Saraswatim Vyasim Tato Jaya Mudirayet Nasta Prayeshu Habadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtaki Idam Bhagavatam Nama Puranam Brahma Samhitam 
ಉತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಚರಿತ ಚಿಕಾರ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಋಷಿ ನಮಾ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಸ್ತಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಮನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯಾಧಾರಣೆ So I'm going to try to read not the entire seventh canto. We don't have time for that. But if we were if we had the time, we should read the entire seventh canto. Sure, yes, I should. But what I'm going to do is mainly there's one chapters 1 through 8, I believe. uh 7 or 8 i'm going to read the prabhupad summary of each chapter and then when we get to the chapter where prahlad maharaj instructs his schoolmates i'm going to read some of those verses very important verses and then when we get to the eighth chapter nishinga dev appears and slays the demon hiranyakashipu i'll read the entire chapter verses no purports but just the verses because hearing these verses the purports are obviously very important but if we've trained ourselves in devotion devotional service we by hearing we can feel the presence of the lord through hearing the past times and we can experience it visualize it feel it actually going on that's why a devotee can like chaitanya mahaprabhu used to hear the past times of dhruva maharaj prahlad maharaj over and over and over again never got tired of because he's experiencing the the bhava or the the actual emotions of that leela that past time so they're not just historical stories for keeping track of some histories they're actually spiritual uh narrations that can enter within our hearts so without any further ado this is chapter 1 the supreme lord is equal to everyone in this chapter in response to a question by maharaj parikshit shukadev goswami gives his conclusions concerning how the supreme personality of godhead although the super soul friend and protector of everyone killed the daityas the demons for the sake of indra the king of heaven In his statements he totally refutes the arguments of people in general who accuse the supreme lord of partiality. Shukadev Goswami proves that because the body of the conditioned soul is infected by the three qualities of nature dualities arise such as enmity and friendship attachment and detachment. For the supreme personality of God it however there are no such dualities even eternal time cannot control the activities of the lord eternal time is created by the lord and it acts under his control the supreme personality of god it therefore is always transcendental to the influence of the modes of nature maya the lord's external energy which acts in creation and annihilation thus all the demons killed by the supreme lord attain salvation immediately just a little qualifier there <clears throat> the the salvation achieved by the demons is not necessarily the same salvation achieved by the devotees of the lord sometimes the statements are generalized because due to lack of time or confinement of time and space to explain so it's a, a given in a nutshell or a sutra so here what the the salvation achieved by the demons is to become to merge into the oneness of brahman that is the salvation achieved by the demons not becoming a pure devotee and going back to godhead although that can also happen like putana became the mother of krishna by his grace there are exceptions but mostly the rule is the demons killed by the lord attain uh to uh the liberation of oneness with god 
The second question raised by Maharaj Parikshit Maharaj concerns how Sishupal, although inimical toward Krishna from his very childhood and always blaspheming Krishna, attained salvation in oneness when Krishna killed him. Shukadev Goswami explains that because of their offenses at the feet of devotees, two attendants of the Lord in Vaikuntha named Jai and Vijay became Hiranyakashipu and Hiranyaksha in Satya Yuga, Ravana and Kumbhakarna in the next Yuga, Treta Yuga, and Sushupal and Dantavakra at the end of Dvapara Yuga. Because of their fruitive acts, Jai and Vijay agreed to become the Lord's enemies, and when killed in that mentality, they attained salvation in oneness. Thus, even if one thinks of the Supreme Personality of God in envy, he attains salvation. What then, is, what then is to be said of devotees who always engage in the Lord's service with love and faith? Chapter 2. <clears throat> But just before that, uh, you know, again, the history is very long, but we know that Hiranyakashipu and Hiranyaksha are the devotees of the Lord Jai and Vijay, who were the, uh, some of the doorkeepers in Vaikuntha who offended the four Kumaras when they tried to enter into the gates of Vaikuntha to meet Lord Narayan or Vishnu. And they disallowed them from entering, and because of that offense, the four baby-like Kumaras cursed the gatekeepers of Vaikuntha to uh, enter into the material world. And then the Lord appeared and explained to, every, to everyone that ultimately this was his desire, this was his leela. He has many different purposes to fill in all of his actions, and he gave the benediction to Jai and Vijay, do you want to appear ten times, is it ten times as a uh, devotee or three times as a demon? And they said, we want to come back as quickly as possible. So we'll take three births as your, as your enemy and fight with you. So this is the desire of the devotee that he wants to come back, go back to God at as soon as he doesn't want to stay in this material world. We like it here. Yeah, we like it here very much. We're attached to all these different things. Uh, but for a devotee in the spiritual world, the, there's no question of ever wanting to leave the Lord. Very rare. Those who come to the material world, it's rare. There are many of us, but it's rare. Chapter 2. Yes. Hiranyakashipu, king of the demons. As described in this chapter, after the annihilation of Hiranyaksha, Hiranyaksha's sons and his brother Hiranyakashipu were very much aggrieved. Hiranyakashipu reacted very sinfully by trying to diminish the religious activities of people in general. However, he instructed his nephews about a history just to diminish their aggrievement. When the Supreme Personality of God had appeared as the boar and killed Hiranyakashipu's brother Hiranyaksha, Hiranyakashipu was very much aggrieved. In anger, he accused the Supreme Personality of Godhead as <clears throat> of being partial to his devotees and derided the Lord's appearance as Varaha to kill his brother. He began to agitate all the demons and rakshasas and disturb the ritualistic ceremonies of the peaceful sages and other inhabitants of the earth. For want of the performance of yagya, sacrifice, the demigods be began wandering unseen on earth. After finishing the ritualistic funeral ceremonies of his brother, Hiranyakashipu began speaking to his nephews, quoting from the Shastras about the truth of life. Hiranyakashipu was also a great scholar, Brahmin. Brahmins are not necessarily Vaishnavas. According to the Shastra, a, a, a chandala, or a dog-eater, lowest of the classes of men, the outcasts, if they are Vaishnava, they are better than the Brahmana, who is not a Vaishnava. Anyone know the Sanskrit? Anyone know the Sanskrit to that verse from Bhagavatam? Anyway. That verse is there. So this is the statement of scripture, that one who becomes a Vaishnava, devotee of Vishnu, 
Even if he's the lowest of mankind, he's better than a brahmana who's expert at all the rituals and mantras and has all the, uh, the qualities of the brahmana. who doesn't have devotion to Vishnu, he's better. So actually, Hiranyakashipu was a great Brahman. He could quote from scripture. He could talk about how you're not this body. To pacify them, he spoke as follows. My dear nephews, for heroes to die before the enemy is glorious. According to their different fruitive activities, living entities come together within this material world and are again separated by the laws of nature. We should always know, however, that the spirit soul which is different from the body is eternal, inadjustable, pure, all-pervading, and aware of everything. When bound by the material energy, the soul takes birth in higher or lower species of life, according to varying association, and in this way receives various types of bodies in which to suffer or enjoy. One's affliction by the conditions of material existence is the cause of happiness and distress. There are no other causes, and one should not be aggrieved upon seeing the superficial actions of karma. Don't we talk like this sometimes? <laughs> but he was a great enemy of Vishnu. Hiranyakashipu then related a historical incident concerning a king, Suyagya who resided in the country named Ushinara. When the king was killed, his queens, overwhelmed with grief, received instructions which Hiranyakashipu quoted to his nephews. Hiranyakashipu related an account of a Kulinga bird pierced by the arrow of a hunter while lamenting for his wife, who had also been shot by the same hunter. By narrating these stories, Hiranyakashipu pacified his nephews and other relatives and relieved them of lamentation. Thus, having been pacified, Diti and Rushabhanu, Hiranyakashipu's mother and sister-in-law, engaged their minds in spiritual understanding. Chapter 3, Hiranyakashipu's plan to become immortal. This chapter describes how Hiranyakashipu performed a severe type of austerity for material benefit, thus causing great distress throughout the universe. Even though Lord Brahma, even Lord Brahma, the chief personality within this universe, became somewhat disturbed and personally went to see why Hiranyakashipu was engaged in such a severe austerity. Hiranyakashipu wanted to become immortal. He wanted not to be conquered by anyone, not to be attacked by old age and disease, and not to be harassed by any opponent. Thus, he wanted to become the absolute ruler of the entire universe. With this desire, he entered the valley of Mandara Mountain and began pr practicing a severe type of austerity and meditation. Seeing Hiranyakashipu engaged in this austerity, the demigods returned to their respective homes. But while Hiranyakashipu was thus engaged, a, a kind of fire began blazing from his head, disturbing the entire universe and its inhabitants, including the birds, beasts, and demigods. When all the higher and lower planets became too hot to live on, the demigods being disturbed left their abodes in the higher planets and went to see Lord Brahma, praying to him that he curtail this unnecessary heat. The demigods disclosed to Lord Brahma Hiranyakashipu's ambition to become immortal, overcoming his short duration of life and to be the master of all the planetary systems, even Dhruvalok. Upon hearing about the purpose of Hiranyakashipu's austere meditation, Lord Brahma, accompanied by the great sage Brigu and great personalities like Daksha, went to see Hiranyakashipu. He then sprinkled water from his Kamandalu, a type of water pot, upon Hiranyakashipu's head. 
Hiranyakashipu, the king of the Daityas, bowed down before Lord Brahma, the creator of this universe, offering respectful obeisances again and again, and offering prayers. When Lord Brahma agreed to give him benedictions, he prayed not to be killed by any living entity, not to be killed in any place, covered or uncovered, not to die in the daytime or at night, not to be killed by any weapon on land or in the air, and not to be killed by any human being, animal, demigod, or any other living entity, living or non-living. He further prayed for supremacy over the entire universe and requested the eight yogic perfections, such as anima and lagima. It's interesting to note that uh, Hiranyakashipu could not conceive of a form like Nishingadev. You couldn't conceive of a form that, that, that anyone could have a form like, like that, inconceivable form. But actually, you know, if you, nowadays, you know, they, they can go down to the depths of the ocean. Have you seen some of the pictures of the creatures at the bottom of the ocean, how horrific they look? These species that God creates, uh, that Krishna creates, it's amazing the different forms that are capable of being manifested in this material world. But he couldn't conceive of this particular form anyway. Um, within the 8,400,000 species. So the Lord outsmarted him, uh, as the Lord always does. And uh, as intelligent as Hiranyakashipu was. Going to chapter 4. Hiranyakashipu terrorizes the universe. This chapter fully describes how Hiranyakashipu obtained power from Lord Brahma and misused it by harassing all the living entities within this universe. By severe austerities, Hiranyakashipu satisfied Lord Brahma and obtained the benedic benedictions he desired. After he received these benedictions, his body, which had been almost entirely consumed, was revived with full beauty and a luster like gold. Nonetheless, he continued to be envious of Lord Vishnu, unable to forget Lord Vishnu's having killed his brother. Hiranyakashipu conquered everyone in the ten directions and the three worlds and brought all living entities, both demigods and asuras, under his control, becoming the master of all places, including the residents of Indra, whom he had driven out. He began enjoying life in a great luxury and thus became mad. All the demigods but Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma, and Lord Shiva came under his control and began serving him. But despite all his material power, he was dissatisfied because he was always puffed up, proud of transgressing the Vedic regulations. All the brahmanas were dissatisfied with him, and they cursed him with determination. Eventually, all the living entities within the universe, represented by the demigods and sages, prayed to the Supreme Lord for relief from Hiranyakashipu's rule. Lord Vishnu informed the demigods that they and the other living entities would be saved from the fearful condition created by Hiranyakashipu. Since Hiranyakashipu was the oppressor of all the demigods, the followers of the Vedas, the cows, the brahmanas, and the religious saintly persons. And since he was envious of the Supreme Lord, he would naturally be killed very soon. Hiranyakashipu's last exploit would be to torment his own son, Prahlad, who was a Mahabhagavata, an exalted Vaishnava. Then his life would end. When the demigods were thus reassured by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Everyone was satisfied knowing that the miseries inflicted upon them by Hiranyakashipu would come to an end. Finally, Nard Muni describes the characteristics of Prahlad Maharaj, the son of Hiranyakashipu, and describes how his father envied his own qualified son. In this way, the chapter ends. Chapter 5, Prahlad Maharaj, the saintly son of Hiranyakashipu. 
Prahlad Maharaj did not carry out the orders of his teachers, for he was always engaged in worshipping Lord Vishnu. As described in this chapter, Hiranyakashipu tried to kill Prahlad Maharaj even by having a snake, snake bite him and by putting him under the feet of elephants, yet he was unsuccessful. Hiranyakashipu's spiritual master, Shukracharya, had two sons named Shanda and Amarka, to whom Prahlad Maharaj was entrusted for education. Although the teachers tried to educate the boy Prahlad in politics, economics, and other material activities, he did not care for their instructions. Instead, he continued to be a pure devotee. Prahlad Maharaj never liked the idea of discriminating between one's friends and enemies. Because he was spiritually inclined, he was equal toward everyone. Once upon a time, Hiranyakashipu inquired from his son what the best thing was that he had learned from his teachers. Prahlad Maharaj replied that a man engrossed in the material consciousness of duality, thinking, this is mine, and that belongs to my enemy, should give up his householder life and go to the forest to worship the Supreme Lord. When Hiranyakashipu heard from his son about devotional service, he decided that this small boy had been polluted uh, by some friend in school. Thus he advised the teachers to take care of the boy so that he would not become a Krishna conscious devotee. Sounds very familiar. <laughs> However, when the teachers inquired from Prahlad Maharaj why he was going against their teachings, Prahlad Maharaj taught the teachers that the mentality of ownership is false and that he was therefore trying to become an unalloyed devotee of Lord Vishnu. The teachers, being very angry at his answer, chastised and threatened the boy with many fearful conditions. They, ta they taught him to the best of their ability and then brought him before his father. Hiranyakashipu affectionately took his son Prahlad on his lap and then inquired from him, what the best thing was that he had learned from his teachers. As usual, Prahlad Maharaj began praising the nine processes of devotional service such as Shravanam and Kirtanam. Thus the king of the demons, Hiranyakashipu, being extremely angry, chastised the teachers, Sanda and Amarga, for having wrongly trained Prahlad Maharaj. The so-called teachers informed the king that Prahlad Maharaj was automatically in devote, a devotee and did not listen to their instructions. When they proved themselves innocent, Hiranyakashipu inquired from Prahlad where he had learned Vishnu Bhakti. Prahlad Maharaj replied that those who are attached to family life do not develop Krishna consciousness, either personally or collectively. Instead, they suffer repeated birth and death in this material world and continue simply chewing the chewed. Prahlad explained that the duty of every man is to take shelter of a pure devotee and thus become eligible to understand Krishna consciousness. Engaged, uh, enraged at this answer, Hiranyakashipu threw Prahlad from his lap. Since Prahlad was so treacherous, that he had become a devotee of Vishnu, who had killed his uncle Hiranyaksha, Hiranyakashipu asked his assistants to kill him. The assistants of Hiranyakashipu struck Prahlad with sharp weapons, threw him under the feet of elephants, subjected him to hellish conditions, threw him from the peak of a mountain, and tried to kill him in thousands of other ways but they were unsuccessful. Hiranyakashipu therefore became increasingly afraid of his son Prahlad Maharaj and arrested him. The sons of Hiranyakashipu's spiritual master, Shukracharya, began teaching Prahlad in their own way, but Prahlad Maharaj did not accept their instructions. While the teachers were absent from the classroom, 
Prahlad Maharaj began to preach Krishna consciousness in the school. And by his instructions, all his class friends, the sons of the demons, became devotees like him. Jai. Chapter 6, Prahlad instructs his demoniac schoolmates. This chapter describes Prahlad Maharaja's instructions to his class friends. In speaking to his friends, who were all the sons of demons, Prahlad Maharaj stressed that every living entity, especially in human society, must be interested in spiritual realization from the very beginning of life. When human beings are children, they should be taught that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the worshipable deity for everyone. One should not be very much interested in material enjoyment. Instead, one should be satisfied with what, whatever material profits are easily obtainable. And, thus, and because the duration of one's life is very short, one should utilize every moment for spiritual advancement. One may wrongly think, in the beginning of our lives, let us enjoy material facilities, and in old age we, we may become Krishna conscious. Such materialistic thoughts are always useless, because in old age one cannot be trained in the spiritual way of life. Therefore, from the very beginning of life one should engage in devotional service, Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu. This is the duty of all living entities. Material education is infected by the three modes of nature, but spiritual education, from which there is a great need in human society, is transcendental. Prahlad Maharaj disclosed the secret of how he had received instructions from Narada Muni. By accepting the lotus feet of Prahlad Maharaj, who is in the Parampara succession, one will be able to understand the mode of spiritual life. In accepting this mode of activity, there is no need for material qualifications. Very important. In accepting this mode of activity, there is no need for material qualifications. After Prahlad Maharaj, Maharaj's class friends had listened to Prahlad Maharaj, they inquired how he had become so learned and advanced. In this way, the chapter ends. I'm going to read these verses of Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj said, this is famous verse, Komara achared pragyo dharman bhagavitaniha durlabham manusham janma tad apyadruvam artadam. Prahlad Maharaj said, one who is sufficiently intelligent should use the human form of body from the very beginning of life. In other words, from the tender age of childhood to practice the activities of devotional service, giving up all other engagements. The human body is most rarely achieved. And although temporary like other bodies, it is meaningful because in human life, one can perform devotional service. Jai Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan Ki Jai. Even a slight amount of sincere devotional service can give one complete perfection. Verse 2. The human form of life affords one a chance to return home back to Godhead. Therefore, every living entity, especially in the human form of life, must engage in devotional service to the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu. This devotional service is natural because Lord Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is the most beloved, the master of the soul, and the well-wisher of all other living beings. Text 3. Prahlad Maharaj continued, My dear friends born of demoniac families, the happiness perceived with reference to, the, to sense objects by contact with the body can be obtained in any form of life according to one's past fruitive activities. Such happiness is automatically attained without endeavor just as we obtain distress. Four. Endeavors merely for sense gratification or material happiness through economic development are not to be performed, for they result only in a loss of time and energy with no actual profit. 
If one's endeavors are directed toward Krishna consciousness, one can surely attain the spiritual platform of self-realization. There is no such benefit from engaging oneself in economic development. Therefore, while in material existence, bhavamashrita, a person fully confident to distinguish wrong from right, must endeavor to achieve the highest goal of life as long as the body is stout and strong and is not embarrassed by dwindling. Just picture here this little boy, six, seven years old maybe, speaking to his classmates like this. How old are you, Prabhu? Six. So Prahlad Maharaj is six years old and he's talking like this to all of his friends. <laughs> Will you do that when you go to, back to school? No, don't. Oh, okay, Ho homeschool. That's better. Then you can preach to your father. Every human being has a maximum duration of life of 100 years. But for one who cannot control his senses, half of those years are completely lost because at night he sleeps 12 hours being covered by ignorance. Therefore, such a person has a lifetime of only 50 years. Just listen to Prahlad Maharaj's logic here. If we live for 100 years and sleep for 12 hours a day, which many materialistic people do, if they have time, uh, half your life is lost sleeping. In the tender age of childhood, when everyone is bewildered, one passes 10 years. Childhood, 10 years. Similarly, in boyhood, engaged in sporting and playing, one passes another 10 years. That's 20, up to 20 now. In this way, 20 years are wasted. Similarly, in old age, when one is an invalid, unable to perform even material activities, one passes another 20 years wastefully. So if you do the math, 20 years in youth, 20 years in old age, that's 40 years, that leaves 60 years, so if you're sleeping half your life also, so you really, there's only 20, 30 years left of facility to enjoy with this body on a mature level of enjoyment. You say, the, the Prahlad Maharaj is saying that even children are just frivolous types of enjoyment, but uh, so that's also considered waste of time. One whose mind and senses are uncontrolled becomes increasingly attached to family life because of insatiable lusty desires and very strong illusion. In such a madman's life, the remaining years are also wasted even uh, because even during those years he cannot engage himself in devotional service. Nine. When per what person too attached to household life due to being unable to control his senses can liberate himself? An attached householder is bound very strongly by ropes of affection for his family, wife, children, and other relatives. This could be a long discussion because Grihastha Ashram in, in, in Krishna consciousness is not quite what's being referred to here but we have to be careful because these instructions can go for us too if we're not careful even in our household or life. We can lose track, get off the track. Money is so dear that one who conceives of money as being sweeter than honey, one conceives of money as being sweeter than honey. Therefore, who can give up the desire to accumulate money, especially in household life? Thieves, professional servants, soldiers, and merchants try to acquire money even by risking their very dear lives. 11 through 13. How, may, how can a person who is most affectionate to his family, the core of his heart, being always filled with their pictures, give up their association? 
Specifically, a wife is always very kind and sympathetic and always pleases her husband in a solitary place. Who could give up the association of such a dear and affectionate wife? Small children talk in broken language, very pleasing to hear, and their affectionate father always thinks of their sweet words. How could he give up their association? One's elderly parents and one's sons and daughters are also very dear. A daughter is especially dear to her father, and while living at her husband's house, she is always in his mind. Who could give up that association? Aside from this, in household affairs, there are many decorated items of household furniture, and there are also animals and servants. Who could give up such comforts? The attached householder is like a silkworm, which weaves a cocoon in which it becomes imprisoned, unable to get out. Simply for the satisfaction of two important senses, the genitals and the tongue, one is bound by material conditions. How can one escape? One who is too attached cannot understand that he is wasting his valuable life for the maintenance of his family. He also fails to understand that the purpose of human life, a life suitable for realization of the absolute truth, is being imperceptibly spoiled. However, he is very cleverly attentive to seeing that not a single farthing is lost by mismanagement. Thus, although an attached person in material existence always suffers from threefold miseries, he does not develop a distaste for the way of material existence. If a person too attached to the duties of family maintenance is unable to control his senses, the core of his heart is immersed in how to accumulate money. Although he knows that one who takes the wealth of others will be punished by the law of the government and by the laws of Yamaraj after death, he continues cheating others to acquire money. O oh, my friends, sons of demons in this material world, even those who are apparently advanced in education have the propensity to, to consider, this is mine, and that is for others. Thus they are always engaged in providing the necessities of life to their families in a limited conception of family life, just like uneducated cats and dogs. They are unable to take to spiritual knowledge Instead, they are bewildered and overcome by ignorance. <clears throat> Some may consider this very harsh, but the sadhu is meant to cut the ropes of attachment. And Prahlad Maharaj is the ideal sadhu here, cutting the ropes of attachment of all of us who are hearing this. My dear friends, O sons of the demons, it is certain that no one bereft of knowledge of the Supreme Personality of Godhead has been able to liberate himself from material bondage at any time or in any country. Rather, those bereft of knowledge of the Lord are bound by the material laws. They are factually addicted to sense gratification and their target is woman. Indeed, they are actually playthings in the hands of attractive women. Victimized by such a conception of life, they become surrounded by children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, uh, <clears throat> and thus they are shackled to material bondage. Those who are very much addicted to this conception of life are called demons. Therefore, although you are sons of demons, keep aloof from such persons, and take shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Narayan, the origin of all the demigods, because the ultimate goal for the devotees of Narayan is liberation from the bondage of material existence. My dear sons of demons, the Supreme Personality of God in Narayan is the original super soul, the father of all living entities. Consequently, there are no impediments to pleasing him or worshiping him under any conditions, whether one be a child or an old man. 
the relationship between the living entities and the Supreme Personality of God it is always a fact, and therefore there is no difficulty in pleasing the Lord. The Supreme Personality of God, the Supreme Controller, who is infallible and indefatigable, is present in different forms of life, from the inert living beings, stavara, such as the plants, to Brahma, the foremost created living being. He is also present in the varieties of material creations and in the material elements, the total material energy, and the modes of material nature, sattvagun, rajagun, and tamogun, as well as the unmanifested material nature and the false ego. Although he is one, he is present everywhere, and he is also, and he is present as the observer, I'm sorry, and he is also the transcendental super soul, the cause of all causes, who is present as the observer in the cores of the hearts of all living entities. He is indicated as that which is pervaded and as the all-pervading super-soul, but actually he cannot be indicated. He is changeless and undivided. He is simply perceived as the supreme Satchidananda, eternity, knowledge, and bliss, being covered by the curtain of the external energy. To the atheist, he appears non-existent. Therefore, my dear young friends born of demons, please act in such a way that the Supreme Lord, who is beyond the conception of material knowledge, will be satisfied. Give up your demoniac nature and act without enmity or duality. Show mercy to all living entities by enlightening them in devotional service, thus becoming their well-wishers. Nothing is obtainable for devotees who have satisfied the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the cause of all causes, the original source of everything. The Lord is the reservoir of unlimited spiritual qualities. For devotees, therefore, who are transcendental to the modes of material nature, what is the use of following the principles of religion, economic development, sense gratification, and liberation? which are all automatically obtainable under the influence of the modes of nature. We devotees always glorify the lotus feet of the Lord, and therefore we need not ask for anything in terms of dharma, ar kam, artha, and moksha. Religion, economic development, and sense gratification, these are described in the Vedas as trivarga, or three ways to salvation. Within these categories are education and self-realization, ritualistic ceremonies performed according to Vedic injunction, logic, the science of law and order, and the various means of earning one's livelihood. These are the external subject matters of study in the Vedas, and therefore I consider them material. However, I consider surrender to the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu to be transcendental. Narayan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the well-wisher and friend of all living entities, formally explained this transcendental knowledge to the great saint Narad. Such knowledge is extremely difficult to understand without the mercy of a saintly person like Narad. But everyone who has taken shelter of Narad's disciplic succession can understand this confidential knowledge. Prahlad Maharaj continued, <coughs> I received this knowledge from the great saint Narad Muni, who is always engaged in devotional service. This knowledge, which is called Bhagavad Dharma, is fully scientific. It is based on logic and philosophy and is free from all material contamination. <coughs> The sons of the demons replied, Dear Prahlad, neither you nor we know any teacher or spiritual master other than Sunda and Amarka, the sons of Sukracharya. After all, we are children, and they are our controllers. For you especially, who, are always, who always remain within the palace, it is very difficult to associate with a great personality. Dear friend, most gentle one, would you kindly explain how it was possible for you to hear Narad? 
kindly dispel our doubts, our doubts in this regard. I won't be able to read this next chapter, but just in summary, we know that when Hiranyakashipu went to perform austerities and his mother being pregnant, the demigods came and tried to kill the child in her womb. And Narada Muni appeared and took the child after his birth, took the child and brought him to the ashram, his ashram, and taught him there. That's how Prahlad Maharaj obtained all of this transcendental knowledge. So now we will continue with the chapter, The, slay, the Lord Slays the King of the Demons. As described in, well, I, I'm going to, we're running out of time, so I'm not going to read the summary. I'm just going to get right to the verses. Narada Muni continued, all of the sons of the demons appreciated the transcendental instructions of Prahlad Maharaj and took them very seriously. They rejected the materialistic instructions given by their teachers, Sanda and Amarka. When Sanda and Amarka, the sons of Shukrajaharya, observed that all the students, the sons of the demons, were becoming advanced in Krishna consciousness because of the association of Prahlad Maharaj, they were afraid. They approached the king of the demons and described the situation as it was. When Hiranyakashipu understood the entire situation, we have the verse 3, 4, yes. When Hiranyakashipu understood the entire situation, he was extremely angry, so much so that his body trembled. Thus he finally decided to kill his son Prahlad. Hiranyakashipu was by nature very cruel and feeling insulted, he began, began hissing like a snake trampled upon by someone's foot. His son Prahlad was peaceful, mild, and gentle. His senses were under control and he stood before Hiranyakashipu with folded hands. According to Prahlad's age and behavior, he was not to be chastised. Yet with staring, crooked eyes, Hiranyakashipu rebuked him with the following harsh words. Hiranyakashipu said, O oh, most impudent, most unintelligent disruptor of the family, O oh, lowest of mankind, you have violated my power to rule you, and therefore you are an obstinate fool. Today I shall send you to the place of Yamaraj. My son Prahlad, you rascal, you know that when I am angry, all the planets of the three worlds tremble, along with their chief rulers. By whose power has a rascal like you become so impudent that you appear fearless and overstep my power to rule you? Prahlad Maharaj said, My dear king, the source of my strength of which you are asking is also the source of yours. Indeed, the original source of all kinds of strength is one. He is not only your strength or mine, but the only strength for everyone. Without him, no one can get any strength. Whether moving or not moving, superior or inferior, everyone, including Lord Brahma, is controlled by the strength of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the Supreme Controller and Time Factor, is the power of the senses, the power of the mind, the power of the body, and the vital force of the senses. His influence is unlimited. He is the best of all living entities, the controller of the three modes of material nature. By his own power, he creates this cosmic manifestation, maintains it, and annihilates it also. Prahlad Maharaj continued, My dear father, please, Give up your demoniac mentality. Do not discriminate in your heart between enemies and friends. Make your mind equipoised toward everyone. Except for the uncontrolled and misguided mind, there is no enemy in this world. When one sees everyone on the same, on the platform of equality, one then comes to the position of worshiping the Lord perfectly. 
In former times, there were many fools like you who did not conquer the six enemies that steal away the wealth of the body. These fools were very proud, thinking, I have conquered all enemies in all the ten directions. But if a person is victorious over the six enemies and is equipoised toward all living entities, for him there are no enemies. Enemies are merely imagined by one in ignorance. Hiranyakashipu replied, You rascal! You are trying to minimize my value, as if you were better than me at controlling the senses. This is over-intelligent. I can therefore understand that you desire to die at my hands, for this kind of nonsensical talk is indulged in by those about to die. O oh, most unfortunate Prahlad, you have always described a supreme being other than me, a supreme being who is above everything, who is the controller of everyone, and who is all-pervading. But where is he? Is he everywhere? Then why is he not present before me in this pillar? Because you are speaking so much nonsense, I shall now sever your head from your body. Now let me see your most worshipable God come to protect you. I want to see it. Being obsessed with anger, Hiranyakashipu, who was very great in bodily strength, thus chastised his exalted devotee son, Prahlad, with harsh words. Cursing him again and again, Hiranyakashipu took up his sword, got up from his royal throne, and with great anger struck his fist against the column. Then from within the pillar came a fearful sound which appeared to crack the covering of the universe. Oh, my dear Yudhishthir, this sound reached even the abodes of the demigods like Lord Brahma. And when the demigods heard it, they thought, Oh, now our planets are being destroyed. While showing his extraordinary prowess, Hiranyakashipu, who desired to kill his own son, heard that wonderful tumultuous sound which had never before been heard. Upon hearing that sound, the other leaders of the demons were afraid. None of them could find the origin of that sound in the assembly. To prove that the statement of his servant Prahlad Maharaj was substantial, in other words, to prove that the Supreme Lord is present everywhere, even within the pillar of an assembly hall. The Supreme Personality of Godhead Hadi exhibited a wonderful form never before seen. The form was neither that of a man nor that of a lion. Thus the Lord appeared in his wonderful form in the assembly hall. While Hiranyakashipu looked all around to find the source of the sound, that wonderful form of the Lord, which could not be ascertained to be either a man or a lion, emerged from the pillar. Nishinga Bhagavan Ki Jai! Haribo! In amazement, Hiranyakashipu wondered, what is this creature that is half man and half lion? Hiranyakashipu studied the form of the Lord, trying to decide who the form of Nrsingadev standing before him was. The Lord's form was extremely fearsome because of his angry eyes, which resembled molten gold, his shining mane, which expanded the dimensions of his fearful face, his deadly teeth, and his razor-sharp tongue, which moved about like a dueling sword. His ears were erect and motionless, and his nostrils and gaping mouth appeared like caves of a mountain. His jaws parted fearfully, and his entire body touched the sky. His neck was very short and thick, his chest broad, his waist thin, and the hairs on his body as white as the rays of the moon. His arms, which resembled flanks of soldiers, spread in all directions as he killed the demons, rogues, and atheists with his conch shell disc 
club, lotus, and other natural weapons. Hiranyakashipu murmured to himself, Lord Vishnu, who possesses great mystic power, has made this plan to kill me. But what is the use of such an attempt? Who can fight with me? Thinking like this and taking up his club, Hiranyakashipu attacked the Lord like an elephant. Just as a small insect falls forcefully into a fire and the insignificant creature becomes invisible, when Hiranyakashipu attacked the Lord who was full of effulgence, Hiranyakashipu became invisible. This is not at all astonishing for the Lord is always situated in pure goodness. Formerly during creation, he entered the dark universe and illuminated it by his spiritual effulgence. Thereafter, the great demon Hiranyakashipu, who was extremely angry, swiftly attacked Nursinghadev with his club and began to beat him. Lord Nursinghadev, however, captured <clears throat> the great demon along with his club just as Garuda might capture a great snake. O Yudhisthir, O, o great son of Bharat, when Lord Nisinghadev gave Hiranyakashipu a chance to slip from his hand, just as Garuda sometimes plays with a snake and lets it slip from his hand, uh, from his mouth, the demigods who had lost their abodes and who were hiding behind the clouds for fear of the demon did not consider that incident very good. Indeed, they were perturbed. When Hiranyakashipu was freed from the hands of Nirsinghadev, he falsely thought that the Lord was afraid of his prowess. Therefore, after taking a little rest from the fight, he took up his sword and shield and again attacked the Lord with great force, making a, a loud, shrill sound like, of laughter the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Narayan, who is extremely strong and powerful, captured Hiranyakashipu, who was protecting himself with his sword and shield, leaving no gaps open. With the speed of a hawk, Hiranyakashipu moved sometimes in the sky and sometimes on the earth, his eyes closed because of fear of Nirsinghadev's laughter. As a snake captures a mouse, or Garuda captures a very venomous snake, Lord Nisinghadev captured Hiranyakashipu, who could not be pierced even by the thunderbolt of King Indra. As Hiranyakashipu moved his limbs here, there, and all around, very much afflicted at being captured, Lord Nisinghadev placed the demon on his lap supporting him with his thighs, and in the doorway of the assembly hall, the Lord easily tore the demon to pieces with the nails of his hand. Nrsingha Bhagavan ki jai! Sri Nrsingha Bhagavan ki jai! Nrsingha Bhagavan ki jai! Lord Nrsinghadev's mouth and mane were sprinkled with drops of blood and his fierce eyes full of anger were impossible to look at. Licking the edge of his mouth with his tongue, the Supreme Personality of God at Nrsinghadev, decorated with a garland of intestines taken from Hiranyakashipu's abdomen, resembled a lion that had just killed an elephant. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, who had many, many arms, first uprooted Hiranyakashipu's heart and then threw him aside and turned toward the demon's soldiers. These soldiers had come in thousands to fight with him with raised weapons and were very faithful followers of Hiranyakashipu. But Lord Nisinghadev killed all of them merely with the ends of his nails. The hair on Nrsinghadev's head shook the clouds and scattered them here and there. His glaring eyes stole the effulgence of the luminaries in the sky, and his breathing agitated the seas and oceans. Because of his roaring, all the elephants in the world began to cry in fear. Airplanes were thrown into outer space and the upper planetary systems by the hair on Nrsinghadev's head. 
Because of the pressure of the Lord's lotus feet, the earth appeared to slip from its position, and all the hills and mountains sprang up due to his intolerable force. Because of the Lord's bodily effulgence, both the sky and all directions diminished in their natural illumination, manifesting a full effulgence and a fearsome countenance, Lord Nisimha being very angry and finding no contestant to face his power and opulence, then sat down in the assembly hall of the excellent, on the excellent throne of the king. Because of fear and obedience, no one, could come, no one could come forward to serve the Lord directly. Hiranyakashipu had been exactly like a fever of meningitis in the head of the three worlds. Thus, when the wives of the demigods in the heavenly planet saw that the great demon had been killed by the personal hands of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, their faces blossomed in great joy. The wives of the demigods again and again showered flowers from heaven upon Lord Nusinghadev like rain. At that time, the airplanes of the demigods who desired to see the activities of the Supreme Lord Narayan crowded the sky. The demigods began beating drums and kettle drums, and upon hearing them, the angelic women began to dance, while the chiefs of the Gandharvas sang sweetly. I'll read, this will be the last verse. My dear King Yudhishthir, the demigods then approached the Lord. They were headed by Lord Brahma, King Indra, and Lord Shiva, and included great saintly persons and the residents of Pitralok, Sidhalok, Vidyadharlok, and the planet of the snakes. The Manus approached, and so did the chiefs of various other planets. The angelic dancers approached, as did the Gandharvas, the Charanas, the Akshas, the inhabitants of Kinaraloka, the Vaitalas, the inhabitants of Kimpurush Loka, and the personal servants of Vishnu, like Sunanda and Kumuda. All of them came near the Lord, who glowed with intense light. They individually offered their obeisances and prayers, their hands folded at their heads. Shri Nishingha Dev Bhagavan Ki Jai Hare Krishna. So there we have it. Oh, Hare Krishna. Thank you. So. Hare Krishna, facing to Srila Prabhupada, all the matas on my left, all the Prabhus on my right. Please keep the hallway clear to the altar. All the kids in the front, 